It's July, and from what I hear from friends all over the country, it's hot everywhere you are. So it's a good time to hibernate and quilt and watch QNNTV.com. This month we have a new episode of Quilt It, and my guest is Renee Haddadin. Renee makes the most exquisite quilts. You've seen them. Award-winning quilts, covers of magazines, everything. What she's going to show us on Quilt It this month is how to use some of her techniques to make this wonderful bag that's great for carrying things around, lots of stuff. And she's making that bag on her long arm quilting machine. While she does so, she's gonna show you all sorts of tips and techniques. She's gonna explain cruise control and precision setting on the machine. Those allow you to do different things with the machine that helps you to quilt better. She's also going to talk about and show bobbin quilting and using different threads. To expand upon that theme, Vicki Hoth is going to join me for short takes on long arm quilting and she's going to go into depth about winding bobbins. She's going to show you a bobbin that's wound too tight and one that's wound too loose and tell you how to get it just right, just like that porridge thing. She'll also show us how to wind those wonderful ribbon floss threads onto bobbins and also monofilament threads. So it just totally expands your possibilities of the things that you can use in the bobbin on your long arm machine. Then next up is Quilt Out Loud and it is our second season. This will be our 13th show, which is definitely good luck. No question about it. So here in July, we're debuting a whole nother season. And of course, it's appropriate that we're going to be in Minnesota at Quilt Market because you know, Spring Quilt Market is where QNN TV started. That's when we launched five years ago. And did we have fun at Quilt Market? For our how-to project, I visited with Rose Hughes the author of Exploring Embellishments, and she made these really cool woolies, which are felted little shapes that she puts on her quilt and she embellishes them, and they're all felted around batting. Very, very clever. You'll see all how to make them. And then I joined Mark back at the QNNTV.com booth for what turned out to be what I thought was a really fun segment. You know, when people go to Quilt Market, there are two types of people, really. There are the people who have products, and then there are the shop owners that are looking for the new products. Well, the people who have products, whether they've invented them or it's a designer, they're there to give their pitches to all the shop owners coming around to their booths. So we thought it'd be fun to invite them to our booth to give us their pitches, and they did. It was a lot of fun, and we even had two very special guests show up. Marianne Fonz and her daughter Mary. If you haven't met her on Love of Quilting yet, she's absolutely adorable, just a doll, so much like her mom. And then not, too. She's definitely her own girl. Also on Quilt Out Loud this month, while I was back at the ranch working at Quilt Market, off went Mark to make a new girlfriend. He went to Ingebrigtsen's, which is a Scandinavian shop, and he learned how to make crumb cocky, which is like a, a cookie, a rolled cookie. And of course, did he bring me one? No, but I did see the video and it looked like they were probably really good. Maybe next time he'll be nicer. Then for our last segment, we went to the That Patchwork Place booth and we immersed ourselves into something that I found very interesting. Karen Burns of That Patchwork Place told us all about eBooks. You know, everything's going to the internet like, ah, ah, quilting television. <laughs> and so are books. And there's a time and a place for all of this. And what's really cool is they've put their backlist, that means all of the older books, or a lot of the older books, onto the internet. So you can download them. It's in a PDF, so it's very simple. You're just downloading a file, you pay right there, and instantaneously you have a book. So Karen will tell us all about that. And speaking of downloadable projects, there's a free block of the month, which I've told you about before, but it's still ongoing over at quiltersclubofamerica.com. It's my Jody Sampler, and I'm doing videos every month to show you how to do all the blocks. The pattern is free. You can buy a kit if you want through Keepsake Quilting, but I'd like to invite you to come and join us in all the fun. There's also forums on Quilters Club of America to give you all the kind of help that you can ever need, and plus you can share your quilts. So hey, it may be hot out there, but quilting's even hotter in July on QNNTV.com.